Ladies and gentlemen, Happy New Year, and I hope everyone is well who are listening and those who are not listening. And this is the third conversation I'm having with Sushant's soul, as the title uh, reads. Now, how did I go about this? Um, first of all, let me ring in the new year. Let me absolutely ring in the new year. Call about two months ago, um, I put in. Um, I put a, a question. I asked all of you to give me questions to ask Sushant's soul when I um, had the conversation with him again. And after about four, five, six days, I removed them because I had over 120 questions. So how did I work that out? Well. I uh, decided, I read them, and there were a lot of repetitions, and uh, what I did was, and I'll show you, um, I grouped them in different uh, groups. I, did, I grouped the questions in for the same meaning. For example, there were questions about relating to his life. There were questions about uh, spirituality, soul work, and reincarnation. Um, there were questions about, that was a good deal of, of the questions, questions relating to his death. And that, of course, is the bulk, as you can see. And um, questions about the process of justice. So I'll start by telling you why I waited so long. And um, why I waited so long is that a lot of people just don't get it, I think. Um, you People think you just push a button and <laughs> come out. But, you know, uh, you have to make sure that the soul is willing to come in, first of all. And you have to make sure that they are well disposed in the sense that a lot of the questions may not be in line with their soul and and what the, where they are now. Um, part of what I'm saying is in the questions and they will be answered. So why am I doing it now? Since the day of Christmas, in, in my culture, um, he has been coming, his soul has been coming, and it was like a knock on the door, you know, tak, 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 tak. And the third time I heard it, I said, okay. And of course, you can imagine a house, family, uh, the, the grandchild, you know, the, all of these things. And so I was, to, I, every now and then, I was writing down what he was saying, okay, what, what he wanted to say. And of course, then it was just so, so much that I had to stop. And I decided, okay, let me gather these notes together. Let me gather the questions together. Let me systemize those questions. And instead of doing it live, which is almost impossible because there's just too much, too many energies that coincide and conflict. This is one of the reasons for the conflicting uh, responses that came through, I believe. But in any case, um, what I'll do is take these one at a time and um, piece together the responses that I, I have as they come now as well. Um, and I hope this will help many of you. I understand that this soul, delightful, I mean, you know, the, the, this is smile. It's a smiling soul. Uh, Sushant is, is here with a huge smiling smile and an open an open soul. This is the nature of the soul itself. Um, I haven't had the time to work on his soul group of origin, things that I do with soul therapy, and it's not necessary. Usually I do it when people request me to do it. But I believe that it's part of his nature, and part of his nature undoubtedly is the communicative aspect. And these two um, there are questions concerning that as well. So what is the biggest um, message that he wants to convey uh, uh, this time around? Now, um, 
And I just keep it out here. Say it. Tell them. Say it. You know? All right. One of the most important, I am saying it. One of the most important things that he wants to convey is that there is a difference from life on earth and, uh, and the spiritual life. And we have images and representations, and these two will be responses to questions that were asked that are quite uh, different from the actual sensation of being in a spirit world. That's the biggest um, message that, that Sushant wants to convey. Now, another thing is uh, that uh, he talks about peace. He says peace. There is peace. Fear not. Fear not, there is peace. Everything around me is in peace. Relieve your mind of the desire to push forward in a negative way, basing yourself on negative occurrences that for you on earth could be negative, but for the spirit world has a completely different meaning. Now, all that said, can I begin? <laughs> all that said, let me let me try. And if there's an interruption, if he does, you know, keep tapping and and he'll give me the answers, obviously, I will then convey that. All right. Now, let me uh, split the screen and give you the questions now. All right. Now, as you can see, let me roll that up. These are questions relating to his life. So the first question is, can you ask him how invested he was? Was he in his music, in the music of his films? I sense a deep connection with him via his songs. Now, uh, I removed from these questions any personal you know, things. What messages does he have for me? This is just a general reading. If you do want personal messages, you can order a channeling session, a private channeling session. Now, um, <laughs> he's saying you are more invested in my music than I was. I was not as invested as those around me may have thought. Um, music, of course, is important for me. Music is all around. And as you know, my body moved to music. But that was not the spirit, the underlying heart and soul of my work. I'm ha I have to move this, this drum. Okay, so it comes away. Go all right, now... Let's go on to the next question is, did his, did his patent get stolen and will he end up getting back the credit for the idea? Um, yes, yes, it was stolen. And yes, I will be given credit for that. Fear not about that. It will in time come out. The third question, will the four employees living with him who covered up the murder ever confess and become witnesses? Um, no, they will never confess. And no, they will not become witnesses. He's saying, would you? <laughs> okay. And they're funny. You know, spirits are funny. They're a lot of fun. And this is why I enjoy this kind of work so, so much. And people ask, you know, do you clear yourself? How do you know it's Sushant? And I've been doing this for a long time. And, um, well, you could just... <laughs> I'm a happy-go-lucky person if I were uh, uh, bedridden and ill and, and uh, have so much negativity then I would question, you know, but I do clear the air and I do spray. All right, now let's get back to the next of the questions. Why was Disha murdered? A lot of questions asked that. Um, all right, there was a murder there. They were murdered because they knew information 
that compromised would compromise someone else. This was the basic reason they were murdered. Um, there's added to this, um, there are other questions that will come up later. Um, what did Sushant know that he had to be killed? Why was he killed? What did he know? No, I did not know that I would be murdered. But I knew things about Maheshbat, Maheshbat that would have compromised him and his business, his work, his activity, things that brought him money, things that brought had a, an economic value. There are more questions related to this that will come up. Um, questions about spirituality and incarnation, reincarnation and soul work. Dear Sushant, will you please clarify for us? In the first channeling, you mentioned you are a spirit guide. But then someone asked if you reincarnated and you said yes, as a baby girl in Northern Canada. In your last channeling, you said you are reincarnated as a young boy on earth. Will you please clarify which it is or are you currently existing on all three dimensions? Thank you, right? Because that is a possibility. Now, he, I am not a spirit guide, Sushant. I am not a spirit guide. Of course, there is some ambiguity there because as a spirit coming to you, communicating to you, it is guidance. And this is the basis of the misunderstanding. Yes, I was reincarnated as a baby girl in Northern Canada. She then passed suddenly from illness, related, genetically related illness. Then I had the option whether to return and incarnate as a child, and now I am a I am a boy, an infant boy in India. in the northern area of the country. It is not necessary for you to know because it is a different life I will be leading and my soul lives on as everyone's soul does. Okay. He's happy with that. He's happy with that response. This is a generic question for uh, for you. Dear Christelle, please explain how you can connect with a soul that's reincarnated. This question has been asked over and over under even the first video, the second video. And I initially started to respond to about five or six people. Then I stopped responding because everyone kept asking and no one was reading the answers. So the idea is, the, the notion is this. And then I'll get back to the channeling. A soul can be communicated with even in life. You can communicate with the soul of another person. I can do it now with the soul that I intend to communicate with. 
it is a it is a different kind of communication of course it is a soul communication and you know that this happens when that person contacts you then they need to clarify certain things they heard or they felt at a level that is we could say subliminal we can say soul level it's a soul level and therefore the soul of one incarnated individual can be communicated with at any time. I direct you to the internet and look up reading, um, reading, 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 a lot of reading you'll find. And of course, there's a lot out there, but there is also a lot of answers. There are a lot of answers. Let's say questions directed to Sushant's energy. Does CBI know the truth about your murder? No, the CBI does not know the truth. Do they have proof against the killers and plotters? And he's going, it's actually going like this. No, no, and the hair is flopping. I can, he's, he's representing, he's impulsing me as the pictures you see on my thumbnails with this flopping hair at the top. No. No, there is no evidence. There is no evidence. Then, Sushant, can you, here my cursor's there, Sushant, can you please clear the air and tell us what your sister Me Too knows about your murder? Me Too today knows about who is behind the murder and who is who um, who was the plotters or plotters. It seems there is a one main plotter and a secondary plotter. She knows it all. She does know it all. She has not been deposed recently enough to convey this information. But please believe me when I say to you, he's, ta he's saying mystery, mystery. She is a woman of mystery. She is a mysterious woman and a woman of mystery. This is why many people thought she was involved in my murder. She now knows, but she has no proof. Okay. Then there's the page break. Does she know who the plotters are? Yes, she knows about Bat. Yes, she does. There's another person who also worked with Bat, but that no one knows about. Initially, the idea for my assassination came from these two people, but then the other person took a step back and was no longer involved, even though the plot did take place. Does Me Too know about the young boy girl that was present in your house at the time you were murdered? Yes, she does. It was a boy. <coughs> Excuse me. She knows, but there are two. There is no proof today, and not enough for her to be believed. Now, um, I was interested <clears throat> about the planes of existence, the five, fifth dimension, the sixth dimension that we are merging into. As a healer, I caught the end of your reply in the last session. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Sushant is laughing. All right. He's laughing. And, you know, kind of these kinds of laughs. You know, really mouth open. 
you know, laughing, being a, like a fool, you know, like a, like a joker with a hat on and laughing like a court jester. He's laughing and he's saying, you have to get into a mindset of infinity. You talk of the fifth dimension, you talk of the sixth dimension. Christelle talks of the fifth dimension to her clients and the sixth dimension. And she herself has only now started to expand into the 22nd and 20, how do you know that? <laughs> and the 23rd, 4th, and up till the 28th, that's true, that's true and started healing at those level, at a very deep level. But please, and Christelle, I'm directing my comments directed directly to you, think in terms of infinity. The dimensions are infinite, infinite. Okay, let's get back to the questions. There are so many. <laughs> Sushat, can you see your sisters from where you are? Can you feel their pain? Are you around them? And can do you keep guiding them? Do you have any messages for your sisters grieving? He started mentioning something in the beginning. Yes, I see them. Yes, I understand their pain. I was in pain when I was on earth. Of course, I understand. My message, not only to them, but to you all, is to remove fear, anguish, hate. The anger mixed to anguish and fear will change your entire body, mind, soul, and emotions and attract negativity and negative energies. I hear my sis, my family. I, my message is to be calm, breathe. And this is my message to you all. Breathe, do not concentrate on my death, but my messages, that and only that would be worth developing in the future. I suggest you and Christelle tell them, open another session. Do have the patience. <laughs> Don't ask me to do that again do have the patience to do another session and as many as you want to understand more about the positive nature of soul work and the spiritual life than the negative fear and anguish on earth. Okay. Um, Hey, Sushant, I want to know if, if does Lord Shiva lives, if Lord Shiva lives on Mount Kailash, Kailash, Kailash. <laughs> he's laughing, he's laughing. I, I'm waiting for him to stop laughing. No, silly. No, silly. But like the church, which is a place for people to come and feel one with others. God is there. Christ is there. Angels, archangels are there. You can believe Lord Shiva lives on Mount Kailash. Kailash. Kailash is a place where you can go and feel Shiva. Yes. But remember my comments of infinity and spirituality. There are no boundaries and there are no coordinates. He's going like that. Coordinates of time and space. Remember the key word of infinity. And remember what spirit means. Spirit is light. Spirit 
has almost no shape. But when energy moves and a concentration of energy moves, you can see swishing and you can see movement like people saying they see ghosts. It is energy moving. Okay, then I, I need some water. I hope I hang out. I hope I can make it to the end. <clears throat> um, dear Sushant, did you speak with Steve Huff, paranormal? Was it really you? Thank you for this conversation. It was not my soul nor my spirit, no. It could have been interference with other souls, but it was not me. Now, how odd is that? Um, there is a lot of people, a lot of people ask me the same thing. Are you sure? Are you sure that, um, I'm looking at the notes that, that, that I have written during these days from Christmas every now and then just to, to make sure I, I don't forget the input. And the idea is that, um, yes, how, how do we, are, are we sure it's them? And, and like I said, I waited a while before I came back because the energy was so strong. And believe me, all of you out there, and you know how many you are, that energy impacts on my work tremendously. And this is why I went to pre-recorded videos and to get a direct, more direct contest, a, a cleaner signal that way. Let's go on. Um, Sushant, was it Bhairav Yatna that you chose to go through before your death? Did it help to expiate all karma in this single lifetime of yours? What comes next? Now, Yes, it was by Bhairav Yatna. It was a cleansing process. And yes, but I have to stress for those who believe that, just like for Lord Shiva and where they, li where it, it, where they live, this is the same idea. If you believe that, there is cleansing. If you don't, cleansing will never occur. What does this mean? He's saying belief, belief and faith. Faith is the mover of energy. Faith in a process, faith in yourself, faith in your, pro your abilities, faith in your skills, faith in your ability to cleanse, faith in your ability to cleanse others and heal others. That is your strong energy, which will change and move mountains. Did it help expiate all karma? in this life. It was not a process of expiation per se. There are different meanings of the word expiation, but it was a cleansing process. Yes. Yes. I repeat myself, he's saying, you ask what comes next. You, sh you saw that I first had an option to reincarnate and I chose to reincarnate as a young girl. There was a serious illness there and for a very short time, the time actually from one reading to another, one conversation with me to another that I had transmigrated. What comes next? I, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. He's saying the sky's the limit. 
the sky's the limit. They're so funny. You know, this is what I love about spirits. They're, they're humorous. They're, they're funny. They're funny. The sky is the limit. Um, let's leave it at that and go on. Now there are questions relating to his death. Su Chan, you returned from a Europe trip, a trip in Europe in October 2019. And it seems from that trip that you became a bit disturbed. Can you tell us what happened? Yes, the European trip was very important. And yes, I was very, very disturbed. It's as, it's as if he has smoke coming out of his ears, <laughs> out of the nostrils, out of his nostrils. It was a very important contract that I had that I was negated. I was not given the contract. It, it was taken from me. That made me very angry because I could not reverse the process. Okay, uh, let's go back to the next questions. Let's go back. I want to know, why were you killed? What was the exact reason behind the death? Why was your death so untimely? Because I knew of trafficking, human trafficking. I knew of crimes, cons related to Mahesh Bhatt. There are many different crimes, white collar crimes and others. Fraud, money movements, illegal movements, stolen from accounts that were not theirs. I had proof of this, and this ultimately led to my demise. The words that he uses. How many people came to kill you? Please answer. Um, saying two, 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 two is better than one. Two, two, two. It's like, like the, the victory sign, two. There were two people. There were two people um, that came to kill me. Um, then I have a question concerning Aditya Thackeray. Is Aditya, Aditya Thackeray involved in your murder? Oops, let me have you read that, sorry. Um, was, was Aditya involved in your murder? No, not at all. Not at all. Again, the, the head is going like this, with the hair going like that. No, not at all. Not at all. Um, not at all. What information was on your hard drives which people deleted without your consent did it contain child trafficking evidence who deleted the information on your eight hard drives not only child trafficking like i said before there were white collar crimes what does that mean? That means money movement illegally, fraud. Who deleted? Not Mahesh Bhatt. He's too stupid to do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. But I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but he is funny. It's a funny soul, a very, like all souls are. But, you know, in this other dimension, it's just completely different. Um, a woman, a hacker called Altira from the Middle East. Altira from the Middle East. No, I will not give you. Say, I'm asking, give me the whole name. No, I will not give you the whole name as everyone wants the name 
of the two Vietnamese. It's they are not important. You can point the finger to the crime, but not to the person. If a person is so astute to elude justice, they have been wise enough to not be called to justice. And he's saying karma is a bitch. <laughs> they, they will get their just diverse, d desserts, as they say in English. They will get theirs. But do not ask me to pinpoint. We live in a cen centrifuge. Centrifuge. Yes, centrifugal force. We live in a centrifugal force. When you think of cleaning salad, you put salad in a plastic container with a wheel and you revolve the wheel around and around and around. The salad moves apart and dries. Our world is made, developed, and we live in these forces of centrifugal energy where people get moved apart. People become extraneous one to the other. I will not pinpoint. Altira is enough from the Middle East a young woman, a very excellent hacker, who is able to hide her tracks. The plotter is Mahesh Bhatt. Oh, that name keeps coming up. That name keeps a coming up. If is Asif Basra, Basha Basra, I don't know how to pronounce these. I'm sorry, excuse me for that. Is their death connected with your death. Did he really commit suicide? No, their death is not related to my death. Their death is not related to my death. Yes, it was a suicide. Yes, it was a suicide. Is Smita Parik involved in your mur murder in any way? Which NGO did the dead minor girl belong to? Yes, Smita Parik is, was involved in my murder. Like I said, I will not point the finger to anyone, nor will I tell you why they were involved. Remember the salad turning and remember karma is a bitch. <laughs> then the NGO is not, they did not belong to an NGO. It was a boy. They did not, he did not belong to any NGO. Okay, let's go to the murderers. The murderers really came from your terrace. Really came from your terrace. No, absolutely not. No, absolutely not. Um, they had the keys. They came through the door. They came through the door. Did the peep did the same people who took your life also take Dishasalian's life? Everyone believes it is linked to information you both had about child trafficking. Yes, this question was not responded to before. You did not ask this before. My death is not related to Basra's death, Basra's murder, Basra's death, suicide. Dishas is related to 
my, uh, uh, my death in a way that is linked to not only child trafficking. Please believe me, the crimes, yes, child traf trafficking is very serious. But what occurs in white collar crimes is more serious because it involves a far ranging network and hurts many, 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 many people. Granted, they are all serious. This is just one of them. Then uh, the question came up. Oops, wait. Um, okay. What were, hang on. Oh, wait, what did I do here? <laughs> what, okay. Is the RA material channeled by Carla Ruckart true? Is the, yes, it is. Yes, by Carla Ruckart, it is true. Then the question, where were Siddharth Pitani and Niraj, Niraj, what were they doing while they murdered you? They did not kill me. They did not kill me. There were two people who killed me that were engaged by Mahesh Bhatt. I hope I say that right. I'm hearing that, Mahesh Bhatt. Okay. Um, also, what was Disha Salian, Salian trying to convey to you before she died? Was Disha Salian pregnant? Does her boyfriend, Rohan Rai, know the whole truth? Is he alive? Is he still alive? Um, Disha was talking about a contract. A contract that she had received, but then was withdrawn. Because she had received it, she was then killed. And this is why she died. No, she was not pregnant. Her boyfriend, Rohan Rai, yes, does not indeed, he does not know the truth, not the whole truth. And yes, he is still alive. He is still alive. Oh God, the plot thickens. I hope all of you can, can keep this in mind. If you ask questions when I open the next session or the in my community session, in a section of my YouTube channel, and I'll put it out there with the thumbnail so then you can ask questions there. And I'll do it in the same way. The other person with you on the night of the mishappening, who was taken away by two men, can he still be saved? If yes, how? And please tell necessary names in order to help other humans. No names. It is a network of people, first of all, and there are not any one person or individual names. Excuse me. Yes, he will be saved. He will be saved by a woman caring for the children and he finds a way to escape. She helps him, reroutes him to other friends, other female friends, and through women, he is saved. Such sad stories these are. Um, is it true? Is it true what Advocate Gupta was saying? that there are eight people who were killed along with you and Disha. Yes, yes, yes. Um, there were, 
This is linked to the boy, the story of the boy and the boy escaping. Nine people in all are killed. I was one of them. We were killed because of what we knew. We were killed because of, of all the information that we knew. And we all ate. We all, eight of us, nine of us knew that. Um, one more question. Will we ever get to know what exactly happened to you at the night of June 13th, 14th? No, not entirely, not entirely, unfortunately, but it doesn't matter, I tell you, I insist. The police and authorities will never know. Individuals like yourselves will understand and others, many channel me and understand the truth. But the entire truth, the authorities will not receive proof for the truth. They will not discover the entire truth. Sushan, is it true that Arnab and Nitish Rane are say, what they are saying about your death? No, absolutely not. Again, he's going like the hair, the head is flopping. No, he did not. That, it's not true. It's not true. Then the time of murder, was it the 13th or 14th? Were you alive when taken to the hospital in the ambulance? And then I, then there were, uh, there was this on the 13th of June, 2020, the night before his death, Rajput retired to his bedroom after dinner. At around 2 a.m. on Sunday, 14th of June, he made two phone calls, one to Bollywood actress Rhea Chakraporty and another to television actor Mahesh Shetty. I was dead when people found me. I was not alive in the ambulance. It was the 14th of June, 2020. That will not change. That will not change. Was the gaming app, F-A-U-G, stolen from you by Akshay, Akshay Kumar? Akshay Kumar. The Akshay, the, Akshay the, the gaming app, app, the gaming app was not stolen by Kumar, but by the hacker Altira that I mentioned before on behalf of Bat. She was from the Middle East, was engaged, was asked by Bat to do that. The plot really thickens. Questions about the process of justice. Is CBI working in the right direction? No, they are not. They are not. Has CBI come to know about the truth or not? If yes, when will they reveal the truth to the world? As I said and saying again, no, tell them, no, no, no. The truth will not come. It's like the vaccine for COVID. You find many, none works enough. There is not a vaccine to totally heal or ward off danger because it's all based on the disposition and the energy of the person that changes every second. Very strong people do not become ill in that way. When will his killers get caught? Will he get justice? No, they will not get caught. 
they will not get caught for the reasons I mentioned before. They covered their tracks very much and were astute. But, and he's shouting, karma is a bitch. And he's laughing with his head going back and forth. And I hate to laugh, but it's making me laugh. Could you please tell us how much time it will take to get justice for you? We are counting, we are continuing to fighting for your justice. Lots of love to you, Sushant. I have justice. I have, and he's been saying this to me since Christmas, my Christmas. I have universal justice. My life now will be very happy. My not life now as a young infant growing will be very happy. The questions you want to know, will I be another actor? No, I will not go back to Bollywood, but I will dance. Music will become my soul. I will be a dancer. I send you love and think that I am calm and serene. I hope you will remain the same. Let's continue our conversation another time. Bye-bye. Ah, what a session that was. What a session, what a session, what a session. So many questions. I like the way it's, I could, was able, it takes time for me to get them all together, but, but it's fine. What I'll be doing when I have time uh, shortly, and when he's ready, actually, I'll go into my community session. You'll get the notice, notification. Write questions, and um, the same, after when I have an excess amount, I will cut them off, I'll just you know remove that, and then try to systematize them. Um, I do hope this was of help to you to get some peace and closure for many of you. And the idea is to look within, you know, and and understand that a lot of people, a lot of souls on earth, and, and he's still talking, he's still talking, tell them that it's not only me, there are many, many, many. Act as representatives of light. Act of as guides, guides of light. Many people have have light around them. Many people are are walking in light. You can see, you can actually feel their light and their light energy. This is why people, many thought of me, Sushant is saying. Do remember that I was a man and I will be a man and I too will suffer and I will be happy, and I will feel pain, I will feel love, and I will work and cry and shout and be elated at times. That is life on earth. But remember there's an energy that we need to clean constantly, constantly, constantly. Your thoughts are your energy. Namaste. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Be well, stay well, and until we converse again, bye-bye, bye-bye. <laughs>